you've actually got not dissimilar jobs though, Donella and Fresh, because in many ways, you're South Africa's national shrink. You've got people in the mornings waking up to you, you're setting that tone, you're lifting mm. their spirit, you're playing the music that gets them out of bed. And, and judging by a number of the people, and there's your mate who phones up freshers on a regular basis, you've got a couple of guys you need to see a shrink who, uh, who are on the show from time to time in as fact, well. In fact, I'm going to pass the numbers on to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> some of my listeners I don't want. One thing I love about radio, though, is the fact that we literally become a part of people's lives, almost at a level we take for granted. I'll tell you about an email I got. I got an email from a young lady. Uh, she says she's been listening to me for 12 years. So at the end of primary school, she started listening to me on the radio. And throughout high school, throughout varsity, she's now about to get married, bought her first car, the buying a house. And at the end of the email, she says, thanks for raising me. And I was like, flip, that's what it is, though. I mean, I've been a part of her life for the last 12, 13 years. And those are the little things I think we take for granted uh, with what we do, or in what we do, that we don't realize how much of people's lives we are. And especially with you on radio, someone's woken up, they've had a bad day, they're heading off to work, they're not looking yeah. forward to it, and you just happen to play that right song, and you've turned it around like that. Or ruin it. Or ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> I always say in radio, as long as you get some sort of emotion out of people, even if you leave them angry at you, as long as they're feeling something, then I think your job is done. As long as they get to work and say, I'm so upset, or I'm so happy, or did you hear what happened on the radio, then I think you've done your job.